Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Tower of Guns. So, it's been a while since I've used the portable pizza thrower as, like, a main weapon on a non-nightmare... <clears throat> wow, my voice is just, like, randomly cut out there. Anyway, uh, it's been a while since I've used the portable pizza thrower on a non-nightmare run. And you know what, I think it's about time for a change, because, you know what, I want something that shoots straight, does a fair amount of damage, and, quite honestly, uh, I, I would really like to get, you know, a victory with the luck pickup, and at this point, trying to, like, get a win with the luck pickup and, like, uh, the Hedgehog Launcher or the LHC gun. I mean, realistically, luck should be, like, the best thing there is. But it's not. It's, as far as I can tell, the pickups I, I get whenever I run luck always end up being kind of peasly and terrible. Which is a little depressing. So we got those guys. But, in the interest of getting everything, mainly this coin. There we go. And these tokens, yeah, there we go. This is exactly what I was asking for. So, there are a couple of cannons up above, but I was like, eh, you know what, they can, they can wait. We've got a bunch of pickups here that I'd like to get. Okay. Also, we have one more bomb. I was hoping we could get up to weapon level 3 before, like, even leaving this room, but that seems unlikely. Anyway, let's fire ourselves up. And it's more money. Really? That's frustrating. Guess I can't get that coin. Oh well, at least it's only one coin as opposed to like a bazillion. Ooh, looks like there's more blue EXP right over here. Took a little bit of falling damage, but ain't that big of a deal. I think there's a big health token somewhere that I can get. But mainly, we're weapon level 3, straight from the onset of this room, and that's a very good situation to be in. Okay, it looks like that big health token I was talking about, not there, but not the end of the world either. And I don't think there's anything to either of those sides, there's, there's nothing down below. So let's head for the purple and let's get out of it. get out of here. Rah. Okay, so oh, it's this room. I don't go in this room very often. It's kind of a rare occurrence to run into. So we got a lot of bombs up above, but I always forget that there's this ramp here. So we might as well take it up as fast as possible and take out like anything that's going to shoot at us. Cause oh dear, it's kind of exactly what I was hoping to avoid. But the, the bomb blocked my path, and it's like, well, I don't have much option in here. Let's just, I guess, kill the last of the bombs and pick up whatever reward we get, because it looks pretty hefty. More money, some health. Pretty simple. Would really dig some, like, super fancy items. You know, uh, my armor, all that jazz, but eh. We'll get there at some point, eventually. So there's some money up there. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. And there's a money on one of these lifts, but again... I think it might already be gone. Looks to be gone, but you know how I was kind of begging for a might pickup? Looks like we already more or less have our wish. Let's see if I can head for this secret area first. I'm taking falling damage left and right. Not so great. But we've got more than... Mm. No. So th there's a jump height there, but if I get that, I'm not going to be able to get the might pickup. And as much as I want jump height, might is far, far more valuable to me right now. And maybe if I get a little bit more money in this room, I'll be able to get the other one. But f first and foremost, get the important thing. Uh, for a second, my, I was doing my math wrong and I forgot to carry the one. Oh, hey, we are going to have enough money. That's terrific, actually. And it looks like there's a secret area up above that I could actually launch myself towards. The question is, is it worth it? It's got more money and potentially something else, but it's kind of hard to say. And it is one of those where... If I miss, it's going to be a wee bit painful. So let's wait for this lift to come up, and then we can take it all the way back down, get that jump height, even though, you know, I'd prefer to have an extra jump over jump height, especially at the inception of a run, but jump height is quite useful, and it's also one of those where if you don't have a jump height and you have a lot of jumps, well, you're going to be, like, slowly just kind of petering your way up. I kind of like having the ability to jump kind of super high. That said, I really wish fall damage would, like, prepare proportionally scale down or like gravity or something as you got increased jump height because after like four then you're starting to just hurt yourself every single time you jump all right so it's just plain old lantern of follows he should go down quick we're weapon level three not weapon level four four would probably just wreck his shit but that's okay It'd be hilarious if we already had a weapon mod at this point but not the case so we got a lot of spin bots that i have to be a little wary of i just kind of forget they're there but, you know what, this is going to be a pretty much no-challenge boss. Which is not surprising to me. 
Okay, so we've got... Oh, that thing. I vaguely know what this thing does. It's the Cartesian Lattice. I really honestly don't remember using it that much. I think I picked it up once and I was just like, what is this thing? And then I used it and it was lasers, I think. Well, either way, let's head there. There's nothing behind. I always have to look and the hug bots are blocking my progress. Well, let's get through here. And let's go. Only found half the secrets, but go figure, the other one was up above. So we're going into the Gearworks. Gearworks is always a bit of a scary proposition, mainly uh, the warehouse is the only level I really don't like going to. Otherwise, yeah, Gearworks has pretty good payoffs, it's just the foundry tends to be a little bit more self-explanatory, or at least straightforward, and you know the levels are nice and linear and you don't have to fall all the way down, so we've got 8 shot. I, I am noticing I'm getting some all oh, that. That was a good way of uh, harming all the torps, kind of, sort of. I dig it. So, unfortunately, we've got all these torps who don't do much damage, but they're going to just slowly eat at our weapon level, which I'm not keen on. But they're also not hitting me, which is kind of convenient. I, I guess the running and jumping in the movement is confounding them a little bit. So, I, I guess they're just as frustrated with me as I am with them. Except for, you know, they died, and, you know, it's unlikely that they're going to kill me in any way, shape, or form. But I'd very much like to finish the last of them off. There we go. And we get a nice big ol' health token. So, we came out of that room pretty much on top. And secret area cannot get to. Actually, I don't even remember if it qualifies as a secret area, come to think of it. Crap. More twerps. Well, in the interest of not dying, because... Oh. Piss. That did not work out how I, how I wanted it to. I I think I'm still having a bit of a holdover from when I was doing the Topsy Turvy run, because I am finding I'm having more trouble staying on platforms than I usually do. Like, my control over my movement is a bit crap. Let's fire at the lattice, let that take care of some things, get the difficulty reduction, because you know what? That's always useful. Cartesian lattice, not as effective at taking out torps as I was really hoping they would. Interesting. Apparently, if I... Hmm... This may require some science, but I noticed when I shot the wall, my saw blade stuck there for a second. And there's like a... I have a slight theory that I might be able to hop on them. That'd be ridiculous, but it'd be really cool to like pepper the side of a wall with saw blades and hop on. Which would be amazing, but very unlikely. The... Just trying to program that kind of thing would probably be a pain in the ass and I wouldn't expect Joe to do it. It'd be really cool, but unlikely. Anyway, so we've got those crazy cannons up there. Still a lot of twerps to deal with. I, I'm kind of missing the twerp totem or like a spread shot or something, because single shotting all of these guys, at least the saw blades move really fast, but at the same time it's just like, ah, slow going. And they're like nigh on infinite. Yet, my Cartesian, they go straight through my Cartesian lattice. That is very frustrating. I, I guess maybe I'll just save up the charge for taking on a boss or like a load of cannons or something. I do want to avoid getting them stuck on a stuck on a torp. That's unusual. Uh, but I'm hoping that I don't get that mystery box just because right now I don't feel like I'm in a gambling mood. I'd like to secure it, secure a win that's like halfway challenging but you know not doomed to fail from the start because of terrible terrible drops. Then again, I think one of my Saw blades bounced from one torp to the other. So we've got two mystery boxes, so it's like on one hand we could conceivably go for it. But that seems like a terrible idea to me. Anyway, we've got a flamethrower up above. More torps coming after us. They're like nigh on infinite. And you know what? I'm actually going to tilt back, because at this point most of the threat is gone. And spawn should be safe. We've got two spiky ball launchers, those to be expected. It's usually kind of a staple for this area. Still got hit. Oh, there's a shop up there for once. That's good. Especially because we probably have enough money to afford whatever it is. And I don't think I hear anything else. Now, the one problem with the portable pizza thrower is that it makes the exact same noise as spin bots. So I'm actually, like, shooting it and getting, like, I'm scaring myself with my own uh, gunfire. Which is hilarious. Because, you know, I hear that, like, Rrr noise, the, like, chainsaw noise, essentially. And it spooks me just a little bit. Is that what I think it is? Yep. The, uh, second most useless item in, in the game, uh, next to the goggles. 
That's funny. Okay, I hope I don't take falling damage there. The answer is no. It was a bit questionable, and I probably shouldn't have hopped down, but, you know, uh, hastiness and bad habits die hard, right? So anyway, I could get that pistol thing. It might actually be marginally better than the Cartesian Lattice, but I'd really like to see what the Cartesian Lattice can do against a... like a good old boss or something like that, because it was kind of terrible against the Torps. But that's because the Torps are small targets and could kind of move them through. I can't believe I took falling damage there as compared to, like, half of the other areas I've fallen to. But, you know what? Oh well. Let's keep looting this place. I don't think there's anything else on the ground level. We've got this thing over here and a little bit of coinage right here. So, eh. This room always feels like it's supposed to have a really good payout, and it doesn't. Like, the payout is lackluster at best. It's not the end of the world, just disappoint me, because, you know, I like me some passive upgrades, and I'm not getting any. Now, again, I could go for the mystery boxes, and, like, part of me wants to go for the risk, but part of me also wants to win. And the question is, uh, Wander, you need to get over your, like, temptations. I'm tempted to cheat, tempted to gamble, tempted to this, that, and the other thing, and it's like, ah, this is no way, no way to be a proper up, up standing citizen. I don't even know words. Anyway, so... We got a might pickup, that's good. We've got a jump height, so if we got one extra jump, at the very least, we'd be in a very good position for, like, moving around and dodging. Armor is nice, but at this point, I don't... I don't rely on jump as much as I used to, because it feels like it got nerfed somewhere around the 1.0 release. Which makes me a little sad, but, you know, to be expected, Mighty... Or Major Moose... Not Mighty Moose, I think it changed. Uh, Major Moose made me, like, really tanky. Uh, to the point where it was almost kind of ridiculous. And so, you know what? This will be good enough. One thing I would like to do at some point is actually get a hold of, like, the 1.0... Not 1.0, the .1 release, or, like, when this game was in just, like, ex extremely early alpha. Okay, so we got some saw blade launchers over here, but they're not a problem. And a lot of bombs. Now, if I'm crazy, and I'm gonna do this... Ow. Okay. Still got hit, but not going to be an issue. Because now we got... Magnetism eventually. There we go, magnetism. So now all of the uh, drops are belong to us. We're full health, pretty much full weapon level, and we get another might pickup. That is fantastic. Okay, so we are going to be the uh, death pizza today. Because... These things one-shot, as far as I can tell, they one-shot uh, everything. At least, like, eight... Eight shotters and stuff. Well, let's see what this mystery thing is. Speed. Can't complain about that. I like me some speed. Now let's get up, get some more coinage, get some weapon level, and see what we get. Again, wood. Ooh. A weapon token. Okay, so it looks like there's a flamethrower over there. And homing purple crap. So we can't one-hit those, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. So there's a massive EXP token over there. Now, on one hand... Uh... Well, actually, no, not on one hand. There's no, like, two sides to this. We're almost max weapon level, so that massive e EXP token there? Kinda useless. Same time. Uh, kind of okay. Doesn't really matter. We're doing pretty snazzy. Because, again, you know, we've got a bunch of might pickups, we've got speed, we've got a jump height. I th <sighs> okay. So, I apologize uh, to those of you that are kind of like... Uh, that don't like the whole, like... Oh. Crap. Crap. Whew. Okay. Uh, so, if you notice, and I thought that this didn't actually happen for a little bit, and, you know, my fault for not reviewing the footage, but you know how on Steam you get those little messages saying your friend has joined, you know, so-and-so game or is playing so-and-so? So, I keep turning that off in the Steam menus, and it's not letting me. Like, it, I, I turn Steam on the next day, and it's like, oh, you want to know what your friends are doing? Well, here's what they're up to. And I'm like, I have no desire to see what my friends are playing. If I want to see what my friends are playing, it's probably because I'm playing with them. And you know what? I can see that on the little friends menu to the left. So I really don't need the Steam overlay. But boy, is it going to keep uh, shoving that down my throat. And like I said, I've turned it off. It keeps coming back. So actually, if any of you guys know how to permanently turn it off, I'm all ears. So we got a bunch of bomb bots. We've got a saw blade launcher. I'm gonna go after these guys because the saw, uh, not saw blade launcher. We've got a spin bot, but they can't get get to me. So I might as well just kind of like pick my punches. That was a spiky ball just coming after my rear. 
bombs. Ooh, big bombs too. Let's fire us some Cartesian lattices. Is okay. There are a lot of spiky balls coming from somewhere, and it's hard for me to tell exactly where. Cause I swear I killed them. Oh, that's where they're coming from. Go figure. I was kind of hoping my Cartesian lattice would take out that eight shot, and I wouldn't have to deal with it as much, but not the case. Oh well. And unfortunately, it's not going to be charged up for the boss fight. I probably should have been more patient. Oh, there you are. I was, I was wondering where the spin bots were, because I could hear them. I just couldn't see them. Okay, so we're just... We're, we're, we're doing fairly well as far as weapon EXP goes. It's not the greatest, but it's not the end of, end of the world. There's another magnetism pickup, but we already have magnetism one. So getting, like, a second one? Uh, I mean, not the end of the world by far, but possibly unnecessary. Hopefully we can get enough yellow charge to get the Cartesian lattice going for the boss fight. Does not look like that's the case though. Shame. Oh well. And you know it's good that I didn't spend my extra money on the magnetism because there's another might upgrade. And I think there's either diminishing returns or a cap on it. Ooh, another jump height. I, it, there's got to be one or the other. But when it comes down to it, I'd rather prioritize an extra might pickup than an extra magnetism because... Uh, so, I, I guess the theory I have is that it caps out at damage multiplier 2, but that's kind of hard to tell, because I've gotten a lot of might pickups before and it still said damage multiplier 1, but it still gives me an armor statistic, so the question is, what, like, is the armor multiplier specifically for certain types of guns, or, like, if you have uber or something? Because that would make a lot of sense, as opposed to the might pickups uh, going for, like, a multiplier. Anyway. Looks like it's the big old spike room, which is a concern, considering the last time I fought the big old spike room, but man, look at its health just plummet. Let's see if I can kill it without getting hit. Yep. Let's get behind the level architecture. Okay, so we still actually did kind of get hit, which is my fault, but uh, it's my fault because I don't know. So what is this? Ooh, colossal special button. That's substantially better. I do kind of wish that the uh, big ol' spike room, all of the spike parts, would disappear by the time... Like, you, you kill it and suddenly you can move around. But if I went down there, uh, it would still hurt. Anyway, let's get through here and pray we're going to the battlements. Warehouse isn't terrible, but going to the warehouse almost always means, uh, ouch pain. <clears throat> Did not find a whole lot of secrets there, but that's okay. Oh, we're going in the warehouse. Well, you know what? It's just life. I think the par with the warehouse is just because uh, all of the testers just blitzed their way through the warehouse instead of actually fighting stuff. Which kind of makes sense. Okay, so we've got... Well, Colossal Special Button. Thank you, you are my best friend. Oh, we're gonna fall. Uh, my bad. That's okay. Did not turn out that terribly. Just took a little bit of falling damage. I figured there would be like a platform down there that I could latch onto, and the answer was no. Or I guess, come on, I guess I'm not getting that one. I guess there is a platform, it's just not within reach. I think there's also a platform up there, but also not within reach. So, let's give this another shot. A lot of cannons, hello! Well, with any luck, we'll be able to charge our Colossal Special button and kind of, oh jeez, I get stuck on these guys. Well, you know what, we can use them to block shots, and honestly, they don't do that much damage to us. I would very, very much like an armor pickup at some point, but I'm not hurting for one. I was... I, I mean, I hurt a little bit. Colossal Special Button actually probably would churn through this room pretty effectively, but, uh, meh. He's not a big deal. Wandabot will be fine. Taking a bit of damage here, but that's okay. Jump away! Jump and flee! Silly Ron Wander. Oh, that's a health token. There's another health token up above, but, uh, no way I'm gonna be able to get to that. Oof. Jump height. Very useful. Okay, so we've got a couple of we've got a bunch of cannons up above and we've got a bunch of cannons down below here. And the question is, do we even bother with the cannons there? And I think it, my answer is going to be eh. I mean, I'm going to shoot at some of them, but when it comes down to it, uh whatever drops they drop aren't going to fall in a place that I can get. So why even tango with them? Why even get shot at by them? Oh, this is not good. I do not care much for this variant of this room just because I'm not going to... I'm not going to be able to get, like, half of the pickups that get dropped, much less get to any of the secret stuff. Okay. And we're going to take a little bit of damage because... Ugh, God damn, that's a lot of stuff shooting. 
And apparently the, uh, oh man, this is bad. Uh, apparently the eight shotter shots go straight through the walls of the, oh crap, bad situation to be in. Uh, they were going straight through the walls of the shipping container. And that's bad. Well, not not this one, the other one. Okay, so at this point, this one is rotating. I think we might have to tilt back up to get to a point where uh, we can complete the level. But I figured I might as well come down here and find the world's, not peaceless secret, but it's pretty damn close. Okay, so we do have this uh, colossal special button. And if I'm really quick about it, I can get inside this one and run across before all the eight shotters uh, shots start coming at me. And if I can get across, get over here, they can't hit me, and then we're home free. There we go. Took a little bit of damage there. Not happy about it. Whatever. Who are we going to be fighting? Chomps a lot. That's a new one. I've never fought Chomps a lot on this level, but I did, and it's interesting. But luckily, we do have uh, magnetism, so all the pickups on the edges are going to be good for us. We do have to worry about, you know, still getting hit, and I want to get. He snuck... Oh, they're sneaking up on me. I, unfortunately, I'm not paying attention. I was trying to prioritize getting the health pickup, and that was probably a bad move. We're very injured. But Chompsalot is almost dead. I just have to spot him. Oh, crap. Okay, there's one. There's two. They're dead. But ooh, we're very close to death as well. This is a bad situation to be in. We got Vampirism, so if we can make it through just a little bit of the logistics without dying, we'll be good. Unfortunately, this does mean I'm going to have to prioritize killing some Hugbots, which... Uh, I mean, there's the small chance of going to Hugbot Alley. I... I didn't want to bet on it. We're not going to get that much of a difficulty increase, and that's going to guarantee, no matter what, that we're going to succeed at living at least probably through logistics considering we got the vampirism mod uh it gave us a fair amount of healing and we should be able to secure some more healing from killing all these things and honestly the drops in uh, the drops in uh hugbot alley are a little lackluster okay so we're taking some damage from these guys but it's not too terrible we're we're making out pretty well uh, we're not kissing the robots. That would be gross. It would probably taste like, you know, metal and grease and, I don't know, whatever kissing machines taste like. I've never kissed a car. It would be weird. I mean, I guess, I guess some people are probably into it, but uh, not not my cup of tea, even if I, you know, do, do masquerade as some kind of, like, robot person on the internet. Anyway, so we're doing great on health. The vampirism mod was probably the best weapon mod we could have gotten in that situation. I'm gonna. Mm, I'm tempted. I'm half tempted to wait for all of these guys to spawn, to use the colossal special button, and just kind of wreck them all. But at the same time, killing each and every one of them with the gun gets me my health back, which is not even arguably better. That is substantially better because I'm I'm going to heal more just flat out killing them all than you know not taking the damage. Like I, killing one is equal to more than the damage I would take from that one hitting me, even if, like, all of them are kind of ganging up on me. Anyway, we've got... Come on. There we go. So we've got one more weapon EXP, some health, and we're almost full health, so... I mean, maybe going to Cake Town would have been nice, but Cake Town always has such, like, inconsistent drops, it's kind of hard to say what is truly worth it and what is truly not worth it. Oh, took some bullets in the face. Does not matter that much. Oh, triple spin bots. Do not want to get hit by those. Uh, we've got a lot of scary up and down all around, but that's okay. I just really hope there's nothing behind me. The answer looks to be no. And money. We actually did need a fair amount of money, because we've been running out. There's a crit mod. That's going to be useful. Blue EXP, and I don't see anything else. <coughs> okay, so we've got the crit mod to go for. Might as well get the health token. I'm going to walk here, see what spawns. Nothing? Okay. So there's one secret area that I know of, and then otherwise we're... I'm going to hold on getting the crit mod just for a second. That's a health token that's not going to go away, so you know what? I might as well wait my turn. Because... Okay, so I guess no matter what, we can buy the crit, because there aren't going to be any more shops. And honestly, crit plus is pretty snazzy. Oh, can't buy it from the behind. 
That sounded really weird. Anyway. I don't think there's anything up here either. The answer looks to be no. Okay. And across. Blammo. So what do we got? We got a lot of spiky balls. We've got some spin bots. We've got many we've got many things, but not many threatening things. I have half a mind to blow the colossal special button as well. But I'm afraid we're going to run into that room with like all the really crazy uh, nonsense like motivational blocks and stuff and all the enemies that are trying to kill me. And to me it seems like it would be a wiser idea to save the colossal special button for a time when I actually need it as opposed to a time when uh, it would just clear the room faster because I'm lazy. Anyway, I think we've cleared out this room. Uh, a couple of bombs left. Doubt there are... Oh, hello. That's going to be useful. Let's see if I can get this without falling down. Yep, okay. And we're full on weapon level. We're full pretty much on everything. Did I spot a secret area there? Nope, that was just kind of a hole in the level architecture. That's fine. So, full on weapon level, full on health. Vampir is a mod, very useful-ish. On one hand, ooh, actually it could be useful against the mod, considering they're, you know, a butt-ton of enemies. Anyway, you know what? This, I think calls for a colossal special blowout. Now we've got a couple more triple spin bots coming towards us. I think I'll be able to tilt away before he uh, re realizes I'm leaving. And I'm I'm baiting him a little bit just in case he dropped anything good. The answer is no. He didn't drop really anything, but that's okay. We've pretty much got whatever we want. There's a luck pickup down there and a bunch of these big old bomb things. I'm just kind of letting them blow themselves up. And then I'm, I guess I'm going to uh, go the way of the flubber and head down here. Now, we do have these guys exploding, and it does look like there's a uh, couple of super cannons on the side. I, honestly, I'm not too worried about them, only because they can't hit me. I really wish I had at least one extra jump here, but I don't. This is kind of a thing where like every, every once in a while I'll do a run that just like results in me not having nearly, oh, this is bad, nearly enough jumps. I'm trying to remember what other run it was. The floaty stuff is not making my ascent any quicker, it seems, but that's okay. Let's get over here and murder all of these cannons, because, you know what, maybe one of them will drop a jump for us. We've had pretty good luck as far as drops go, except for in uh, in terms of jumps. That's okay. I guess I might as well just kind of peer down and see if there's anything I'm missing. There's a mystery box. I'm not going to go for it, because if I got, like, a jump height minus minus, that'd be even worse. Let's just be straight up here. Okay, I was kind of hoping I could magnetism. Yep, I got him. Now let's go, and let's hope that there's something remotely useful at the top. If not, you know what? Worst comes to worst, we'll have one jump for the Maw. It will make things a lot more frustrating, I think. But I've had worse. So we've got the floaty purple crap. Not happy about that. Oh, uh, get out, get out of my face. Get out, no, 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 no. No, no. Actually did not hit me. Don't know how it didn't hit me. Well, it didn't hit me somehow. That one hit me. That's okay. There are plenty of health and weapon EXP pickups to make up for the fact. Really wish I could get to that one secret area up top, because, you know, luck pickup could be nice. But not the case. We've got many, many twerps. I'm going to bait them a little bit until they spawn. Actually, this is good enough. Colossal special button. Clear the road. We get more speed. That's going to be nice. Still, need to jump. Speaking of, there's a jump. And, you know what? Now the only thing shooting at us are twerps. And now that we have the vampirism mod, twerps are kind of just floating health packs for me. Ish. Because you get like a small percentage of health every time you hit, or not hit, every time you kill an enemy. So, makes twerps easy. Anyway, we've got more than enough money by the weapon, or not weapon, EXP. The extra jump is going to be great. Because you know what? I've been begging for one of these for a while. And we've got that teleporter, but first I want to go on adventures, because I think there's stuff around here. There's a mystery. Hmm. If I were a truly adventurous soul... That did not work. That didn't work either. Okay, you know what? Insanity is trying, uh, failing multiple times and, you know, continually to try the same thing. I don't know. Uh, phrases by people that I'm forgetting the name of. It was probably like Einstein or whatever. 
Anyway, there's one secret area at least. Not the secret areas I wanted to go to, but yeah, is life. We've got one more room, I think, on the logistics before we're done with here. And is this room. I really wish the Colossal Special button was charged, but it is not end of world, it is just painful part of world. So let's take out these things. Really, as, as soon as we can get the Colossal Special button charged, I'm going to be a very happy person, because that's just going to make uh, everything die. And, I mean, I'm not a genocidal or a homicidal maniac, but at the same time, uh, everything needs to die here. Because th this room is both really cool and really terrifying, because ouch pain mostly. It does tend to have really good drops, though. So, I mean, it's got that going for it. Let's take out the lasers so I can actually leave this corner without, you know, taking damage. And kind of jump back and forth because there are saw blades coming down on our heads. And just feel it burn, like, homing in on me. And once again, I'm hearing my own saw blades and thinking, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, I don't know how I didn't notice that before. Okay, so... Step one of the process that I'm going to go through here. Colossal special button, kill everything. Okay, there's step one done. Now all we have to worry about are the super bullets, which are going to be a little painful if I get hit by them. Oh crap, speaking of painful. Oh, you know what? Now we're down on their level, which is either concerning or really good, because apparently they can't hit me down here, which is perfect. Gets us a lot of money, a lot of health, a lot of weapon EXP. We're golden. I was really expecting some kind of pickup in here. Uh, I guess we do have the one secret area to go to. <sighs> well, I guess no time like the present. Or present location, anyway. Because as far as I can tell, that almost worked. Okay, that did not work as well as I was hoping it would. But that's fine. Because if I can hit all of these blocks... Oh crap, uh, that hurt. If I can hit some of these blocks, get over to these platforms, there we go, and then I can jump up this one, get there, okay, and then we can scoot ourselves off to the side and not go through the purple teleporter because that would be uh, humorous, but embarrassing. Now let's see what we got over here. Are you kidding me? One coin. That is, that is our reward for getting all the way up here. One coin. La, 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 la. Okay, well, at least we're fighting up, uh, we're up against the pipe organ, who's going to be pretty easy peasy. We've got a couple of jumps, we move pretty fast, we do crazy damage. Uh, we're probably going to get hit by, like, a spiky ball or maybe a missile, because I'm not paying attention. But, uh, d ugh. I guess we almost got hit by our own saw blade. Not a big deal. Hey, speaking of, I, w uh, I guess my... Yeah... Yep, my saw blades do not seem to have uh, pathing, or at least like a hitbox. That's fine. Wasn't really expecting it. So let's just get the heck out of dodge. Ah, uh, so we're going on to the sanctum. We need, we need armor. We need an extra jump, but at the same time, we're doing okay. Vampirism is going to be kind of useful, but when it comes down to it, I think we're still going to run up uh, against some issues against the mall where like. I'm probably going to end up prioritizing very slightly going after the uh, the like spin bots and the super cannons and I mean you guys probably all remember how bad that can turn out from time to time and so it's like on one hand do not want to tango with that kind of nonsense but this uh, same time might have to deal with it anyway. Whoop. Get out of there let them all blow themselves up because apparently when enemies die they do like a little bit of damage. Which, you know, kills all of the little rolling twerps, or whatever they're called. They hurt, though. Anyway. Die. Okay. So, we're limited on jumps, but there's a secret chamber in here. And with any luck, I will actually be able to get to it. It's going to take a little bit of platforming, but I think I did it on a couple episodes ago where I, you know, hopped along the spikes. And it's like, oh, this ain't so bad. So, with any luck, we'll have the exact same luck. I was really hoping we get uh, some luck as far as other things, but... We did not. So, A and B. See if I can get up here. Yep. Uh, hmm. Because I don't, I don't want to fall. I fell. Okay. So th this may take a try or two. L let's be straight up here. I only have one extra jump, two jump heights, which you know, thankful for. But at the same time, 
No. Ah. Oh. That sucked. We're at least we're only taking a like extremely minimal amount of damage every time we fall, which is a good situation to be in because uh, I hate taking damage. Anyway, looks like the spikes kind of come in pairs of two. This is probably a good enough spot, and is a luck pickup. A little late in the game to be getting a luck pickup, but at the same time, uh, if it gets us at least one more jump or armor, or both, I'll be happy. Okay, so, oh dear. Hopefully they all died. He got us a might pickup, and they didn't all die. That's a bad situation to be in. Uh, notice all the smoke coming out of every everywhere? Those are the invisible laser dudes. They're going to wreck our shit. And unfortunately, uh, they're going to wreck our shit quick, too. Like, look, they just burnt through an entire bar of health. Just die. God damn it. And, like, they move quick. They're like super twerps. And I hate them. I hate them so goddamn much. And why am I even, like, sticking around in this room? Uh, it's largely because I want to get the secret area. And if we die because of this room, I'm going to be sad, but I'm not going to be surprised. And I could run, but I'm going to get shot in the back here. I guarantee it. There we go. Fuck. Seriously, though. Each one of those laser shots takes off a whole bar of health. And that was a really good run, too. I mean, it's my fault for staying and running. But at the same time, there were three shops. Three secrets. Two of which were jumps. I think. And it was kind of like... A bad situation all around. God, I hate those things. I really should have been more patient with the Colossal Special button. And waited for them all to spawn. Because I think that would have taken them all out. Oh, well. You know what? Uh... It was a good run anyway. I seriously enjoyed it. I really enjoyed having just an extremely overpowered portable pizza thrower because four might pickups and a crit pickup. Pretty damn fancy. Uh, still kind of frustrating. The luck pickup was good, but also bad in a lot of ways. I don't know. I still don't feel like the luck perk is particularly useful. But I still want to get that, you know, that freaking golden star with it. So, you know, I guess I'm just going to keep struggling with it one way or another. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next run of Tower of Guns, and as always, thanks for watching.